एवरी ऑन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 62 ऑलरेडी 61 लेक्चर कवर टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द बुक वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एमर्स फाइजेल ओके वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एमर्स फाइजेल दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 62 ऑलरेडी 61 लेक्चर कवर ऑफ दिस बुक यू नो दिस बुक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द फिजिक्स एज वेल एज फॉर मैथमेटिक्स एंड आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आईआईटी जैम एग्जामिनेशन दैट्स व्हाई यू डिसाइड टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक the link provided in the description box of the previous videos you can watch this uh, in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem 6.61 6.63 of chapter 6 which consists divergence stokes and relative integral theorem mainly green's theorem so let's start with question 6.61 which says so that the green's second identity can be written as this so we need to note the green's second identity Uh, so green's second identity is given in this these books spiegel books you can see so green's green's second identity second identity this green's second identity is written as surface integral of b dot n cap ds is nothing but the volume integration of divergence of b dv this is the second identity of green's theorem okay so if here you can compare this this part is that part so you can see the divergence of b is the phi grad square psi grad square psi minus psi grad square phi right so if i want to write this as nothing but phi divergence of grad psi right and this is nothing but psi of divergence of grad phi right so you can write phi divergence of grad psi um, plus grad phi dot grad phi dot grad psi okay minus grad phi dot grad psi grad psi i add this to to <laughs> from this we can use this from such that we can use this is okay so we need to actually find out what is the b so for that we use this divergence of grad phi right so this two term can be written as divergence of phi grad psi and this two term written as divergence of psi grad phi okay so these two are can be written as phi grad psi minus psi grad phi so comparing both side you can say b vector is nothing but phi grad psi minus psi grad phi these are the b b vector so if you want to find out b dot n we got the b so we need to find out b dot n so if you want to b dot n cap so n cap is uh, dotted with that you will got d phi d uh, side d n and this you gives you d phi d n because if we dot grass side dot n cap you will got this is the normal vector this is the same direction so you got only d psi dn similarly grad phi dot n cap gives you d phi by dn clear so just uh, put in this equation you will get the result that is the this okay so i think clear of this proof for any query you must comment in the comment box or you can contact with me whatsapp number so let's go to the next question 6.62 which says that surface integration of r cross s is zero for any closed surface for that you need to know the property of the scale of this this is given in 6.23 problem of these spiegel books that is scale of b this is scale of b dv is nothing but n cross b the proof is given in this book that's why we do not repeated this portion i just write down the formula from 6.23 form, uh, 
problem set problem of the vector analysis book by Emma Spiegel. Okay, so this can be written as surface integration b cross n ds. So if you compare with that, you can see the v vector is r cap and ds vector can be written as n cap ds. Okay, so v vector is comparing comparing you can say b vector is nothing but r vector so so if you put b vector is r vector you will got that r cross n cap ds is nothing but minus volume integral curl of b b is nothing but r dv you know curl of b uh, r is curl of r is zero so this becomes zero curl of r is zero this is already proved in the previous lecture you can check the previous lecture where we just proved the, this portion okay so this is proved go to the next one verify the stokes theorem of the vector this is a, a vector and where s is the uh, surface of q uh, x equal to 0 y equal to 0 j, uh, 2 x equal to 2 y equal to 2 z equal to 2 above the x y plane so if you want to draw this surface if you want to draw this surface uh, this is x axis this is y axis this is <coughs> z axis right now the x varies from 0 to 2 y 0 to 2 z 0 to 2 so this is a q this is like a q all side must be same right above the x y plane means this is the x y plane above the x y plane means this is the plane right so the required plane of our problem is this portion this plane we need to know or integrate about the this portion this plane okay so for that plane you can see the uh, loop curve is from that path this is the curve and this is the area this is the curve and this is the area so you can uh, integrate along this path this is path 1 this is path 2 this is path 3 and this is path 4 so i need to find out the cyclic integral along this path at first right because the stokes theorem says stokes theorem stokes theorem says that what the stokes theorem says the cyclic integral of any vector in a closed path is equivalent to surface integral of the curl of this vector within the surface which enclosed by this curve this is a closed curve the cyclic integral along this closed curve is equivalent to the to this <coughs> Okay, so you can just to find out this uh, left hand side, you just uh, integrate along this path. Okay, so for path 1, for path 1, you can see in this path y value is 0, since y is 0, so dy also 0, and uh, x change from 0 to 1, x change from 0 to 1, and z is z is constant, z also, z also to so dz also 0 right so if you find a dot dr a dot dr what is the value of a dot dr dr means i cap dx plus j cap dy plus z cap uh, z cap means k cap dz so if you dot with this a vector you will got y minus z plus 2 dx plus yz plus 4 dy and this is nothing but xz dz okay so in this path dy0 dz0 only we got d y minus z plus 2 that into dx clear so if you put the value y0 and z2 this is 0 and this is 2 you get this becomes 0 this becomes 0 so the uh, integration for path 1 gives you 0 so integration of path 1 uh, you can say a dot dr for path 1 will gives you 0 go to the next path for path 2 
path through. You can remember that for path through, uh, here, here the change is y, y change from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, y change from 0 to 2, y change from 0 to 2, x is in this region, x uh, in this region, x is 2 and z is also 2, x is 2, z is 2, so dx is 0, dz 0, only y part is present, so only y part is present means this part y, yz plus 4 dy, yz plus 4 dy, yz plus 4, yz plus 4 dy, right? So, if you put value of z this is 2, so 2y plus 4 dy and y value change from 0 to 2. So, if you integrate this is y square by 2, that is y square plus 4y 0 to 2. Put the value 2, this is gives you 4 and 8, that is 12. So, for path through, this gives you 12. Next, go to path 3. For path 3. So, for path 3, you can say for path 3, in this path, the change is x value change from 2 to 0. x value change from 2 to 0. x value change from 2 to 0. 2 to 0. And at that point, y is 2, y is 2, z is 2. y is 2, z is 2 y is 2 so dy is 0 and z is also 2 so dz is 0 so dy dz 0 only x term will present that is y minus z plus 2 y minus z plus 2 y minus z plus 2 that into dx and y value is 2 and z value also 2 so you got 2 dx and the limit of x will be 0 to 2 uh, sorry, 2 to 0. So, this gives you 2x that is 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4. So, integration of this portion. So, a dot dr for path through gives you 12. a dot dr for path 3 gives you minus 4. This is minus 4. This is 12. And the previous one was 0. So, you need to integrate path 4 along the path 4 for path 4 for path 4 along path 4 you can see the change in y value y value change from 2 to 0 y value change from 2 to 0 and in this region x is 0 z is 2 x is 0 x is 0 dx 0 and z is 2 dz 2 0 dz 0 0 so if you integrate only dy term is present dy term means this term that yz plus 4 dy right so if you would z is 2 so this is 2y plus 4 um, dy and the limit will be the limit will be <laughs> 2 to 0 right so, if you integrate, this gives you y square plus 4y and limit 2 to 0. So, this gives you minus 4 minus 8 that is minus 12. Okay. So, if you find out total, that is total integration, this is the integration a dot dr along the path 4, right? This is minus 12. This is plus 12, this is minus 12, this is minus 4 and the previous one 0. So, total integration a dot dr of total integration that is first one 0 second one plus 12 third one minus 4 fourth one minus 12 that is minus 4 clear so in the left hand side we got the this is minus 4 for the right hand side we need to find out curl of a so let's calculate curl of a what is the value of curl of a this is the i cap j cap k cap this is del del x del del y del del z and a vector is given here you can see the y minus z plus 2 so this is y minus z plus 2 this is y z plus 4 and this is minus x z just call this del del y is 0 minus del del z of y plus j cap del del z of this this is minus 1 and del del x of this this is minus or minus z plus z plus k cap del del x of this 0 del del y of 1 so you will got minus y i cap 
plus z minus 1 j cap minus k cap right so if we apply this part so we got curl of a so you need to dot with the end cap and in this plane you can see the end cap is nothing but end cap is nothing but k cap so if you dot with the a, a curl of a so curl of a dot n cap n cap is nothing but k cap so curl of a dot k cap is nothing but gives you minus one so the integration surface integration of curl of a dot n cap ds is nothing but minus one and this is n cap so a k cap so this is will be dx dy right in the by n cap dot k cap that is k cap k cap is one so you will got minus dx dy and the limit of the x will be 0 to 2 so you will got 2 dy and the limit of y also 0 to 2 so this is 2 into 2 this is minus 4 so from the left hand side you got minus 4 from right hand side you also got minus 4 so the stokes theorem is valid in this problem stokes theorem is valid stokes theorem is valid valid right so stokes theorem is valid in this problem clear i think clear this is all about me this is my contact details you can contact with me whatsapp number regarding any physics related question this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you got the videos which already uploaded share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you